Welcome to NextStar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 27 Labels. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about creating labels and specifically how to create single labels and a sheet of labels. And to print labels, the first thing that you're going to need is label paper. And label paper is already perforated and it has peel off labels. And like with most things, luckily Word makes printing labels fairly easy because it already recognizes many of the popular brands of label sheets and you also have the option of creating custom label sheets. Now the one thing that you do want to be aware of is that you need to make sure your label sheets are compatible with the kind of printer you have. Some label sheets are made for inkjet printers and others are made for laser printers. So you need to make sure that the one that you're using is right for your printer. Because if you're using the wrong kind, uh, the ink on the labels can smear, they can melt, they can get jammed, and you'll run into problems. So it's just something you want to be aware of. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you to do is how to create a full sheet of the same label. And a common use for this would be a sheet of return labels. So to do this, first you're going to go up to Mailings, and you're going to click the Labels tab. So this is your label dialog box, and in here you can type your address. Um, if you click this use return address box, it will use your return address. Or you also have the option of using an address from your address box. Or if you don't want to use an address, uh, you also have the option of writing a message in your label. So you could have it say property of Nextara, or please handle with care, really whatever message you'd like to include in your labels. It doesn't have to be an address specifically. In the print section, you'll choose full page of the same label. And then if we want to change the label size, you can either click the options button or you can click uh, the picture of the label. And this will bring up your label options box. And under printer information, you'll choose if your printer is a continuous feed printer or a page printer. You'll also choose the type of label that you're using. So we'll just pick an Avery 32031. And this information will be on the label packaging and you'll just want to make sure that this information matches up with your packaging just to double check. So you can just click OK and you have the option of just printing here and it will print your full page of labels automatically or if you want to uh, preview your document or make changes to individual labels you'll just click new document and you see that it will pull up your whole sheet of labels. And then this is just like a normal document. You can make changes however you need to. You can change your font, your color, um, anything that you want. So I also want to cover how you create single labels. And it's basically the same process as, as full sheets of labels. Uh, again, you're going to go to mailings. So you're going to go to labels. And you, know, you can type whatever address you want to use in here. We'll just use our return address again. Um, but instead, in print area, you're going to choose single label. And oftentimes, when you're doing a single label, you're going to be reusing a label sheet that has uh, one or more labels missing. So in the row and column area, you'll just enter the row and column for the first available label on your page. So say it's row two, column number two, um, this will adjust in your document. And then you can just select print, and that will print your single label. Now you also have the option of creating custom label sheet sizes. And to do this, uh, you'll go to options. And why you would use this feature is if you're using a generic label that isn't listed in our label vendors or product number. So what you could do in this scenario is you could either choose a popular vendor and find um, the equivalent of the, the label sheet that you're using, or you can find a label that's close in size to your specifications. It doesn't need to be the exact same size, and then you can add, then you can edit it from there. So what you would do is you would select a vendor and label size that's close to the one you need, You'll click Details, and you can adjust your margins to fit your specifications. You'll rename your label, and then you'll just click OK. And you'll see that the label sheet you just created has been added um, under Other and Custom Vendors. Thank you for joining NextStar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 27 Labels. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextstar.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextstara.